We don't measure the success of a dream in the size of a dream. We measure the success of a dream in the joy that it gives. And that's how we inspire hope. Through the interview, what I like with her is when I said, if you like to be happy one day or what you want to experience, what do you ask or what do you need? Then she said, I want to touch a lion. I said, wow, a lion. I was really not sure to continue with the question because she keep on saying, I want to touch a lion. Ntepo Leng's dream is a very brave dream. She was very excited to know that we are planning her dream day, but she had no idea what we were planning. So off we went to Bagar Moya in Bloemfontein. Not only were we as Reach for a Dream staff members tested, but also to make something really special for her on this day. Upon arrival, we were surprised by the arrival of a real grown lion. And this big lion walked up to the fence and Ntebuleng just stuck a little hand through the fence and didn't even draw it back. <laughs> Hello! Wow. And I think he just felt that today was a special day. Today was a day that we were doing something incredible. Hello, Napo. Oh, hello, Napo. It was incredible to see that moment, incredible to see her interact with an animal in that way. But that was just the first part of many little surprises on a very special day. We also spoiled her by having her interact with a lion cub. So she was very brave and enjoyed playing with the lion cub. But her favorite, I think, were the little uh, tiger cubs. They were cute and cuddly, very playful, and I think they were more her size. It was wonderful to experience these animals through her eyes. And I take my hat off to Ntebuleng for being brave, not only in life, daily, facing her illness, but on a day where many grown-ups would have perhaps backed out of the situation, she stepped up and embraced it, enjoyed it, and I think she made the most of it. And she also said, I can be happy if also I can have a pair of takeys. This was a wonderful surprise. She was so happy when they fit her perfectly. And to be able to walk away with those sneakers, it just really ended off a wonderful day. She was brave to tell us about the illness and she was brave to tell us, I'm brave enough to go, not to step back, but to go forward. <laughs>